yesterday started quietly in the Volvo Ocean race as the fleet continued to battle against changeable conditions. We've got a low pressure, lots of squalls, rain. You can be doing 20 knots or you can be doing two knots. Uh, it's pretty random, none of the grip files agree. Uh, all we know is that this uh, big low pressure area is dominating, dominating proceedings. These changeable conditions make it hard work for the crews with lots of sail changes and difficult decisions to be made. Yeah, the last 24 hours have been really busy, really hard on the crew. We've been having to make a lot of manoeuvres, uh, sail changes. Uh, yeah, guys are pretty tired, been up a lot. So. As the crews travelled along the African coast, some opted for a coastal route, while others are pushed a few miles from the shore, hoping to find more wind. <laughs> We're having some cl classic Axel Magdal navigating here. We Currently about 100 metres off the beach of Africa, she just doesn't want to let us go. It's another little uh, rock town underneath here, and about half a mile by the looks of things, and then we're free. And we've got uh, Group Harmer and Puma up here. With these conditions and the fleet so tightly packed, the leader's been changing hands regularly, with Camper, Puma and Group Harmer virtually neck and neck. Holy crap! You know, if it's not one thing, it's another out here. We finally work out into the lead, and uh, a freaking squall grabs us, parks us, camper goes ripping by. Up next for the fleet are the Agulas Currents, a strong current running in the opposite direction from the wind, causing big waves. Uh, we're heading into one of the strongest currents in the world uh, that has developed its own little low pressure. So we got about 100 miles of pure crap. The fleet entered these currents last night and we have an initial report of conditions from Rob Greenhall, watch leader on Abu Dhabi. The last two hours have just been punching into, you know, fairly horrendous head-on seaway. So 20 knots, that 20 knots wind against the sea. Stay tuned to follow all the action from the Volvo Ocean Race and see how the fleet deal with these Agulas currents.